Hey Grace Church, Michael Campbell here, family pastor, going over this Sunday's lesson, how it applies to our children, how it applies to you personally as a primary disciple maker, either in your home and then for those who are teaching and assisting in our classrooms, how does this lesson also apply to us? And so we're actually going to Hebrews chapter 7 where Jesus is our perfect priest. Now, it's difficult to comprehend the gospel's richness without understanding Christ's role as the perfect priest because we don't live in the same religious and sacrificial system that the early church was so familiar with, right? And we may struggle to savor the nuances of all this divine uh, position entails. And so throughout the promises of the old covenant, priests were necessary to represent the people before God and make atonement for their sins. Think of Yom Kippur. However, because those priests were not sinless themselves, they cannot fully or perfectly pay the price for the sins of their fellow man. And so for that reason, the greater perfect priest, Jesus, was needed and only he could satisfy the wrath of God on our behalf. So only Christ held the power of an indestructible life, like having been crucified and raised again for all eternity, whereas earthly priests could only serve for the duration of their lifetime, right? Like Jesus holds this position forever, now seated at the right hand of God the Father. And the promise of God through Jesus was perfected and completed through his eternal, all-encompassing sacrifice. In Christ alone, we find salvation and relationship with the Father. So when we trust in Jesus by faith and made righteous and find peace with God, these are the promises foreshadowed by Melchizedek, whose name means like king of righteousness and of peace. You can see that in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3. And Jesus, the perfect son of God, is even greater than this priest who blessed Abraham and reminded him of the victory that God had granted him in the battles before. So let's all explain to the children that in Jesus we find complete forgiveness and victory in the war against sin and in death. And he rose again that we would experience the promise of eternal life that only comes through faith in him. No earthly priest was able to accomplish such a feat. So without uh, his work on our behalf, we could remain condemned by the law. But through Jesus, we are held back no longer, fully alive and set free to love the Lord with all and who we are. So big topics we're going over in our lesson this week. Um, you'll notice on the the rest of the thread, some questions, memory verses, topics to go over as a family unit, again, as we prepare to lead our classrooms. But until next week, God bless. Take care.